Yo, 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 this is Bustian from BossLifeHacks.com and today I'll talk about how to change your country. And it's a pretty good time as well because right now I'm in London where I used to live. I moved to Barcelona after that, but I change countries quite often, right? So I have a few things to say. So uh, whether you're thinking about changing the country, whether you just want to try it out, whether the circumstances kind of forced you to do it, um, there's, you know, all kinds of different motives to do it. But there's one thing that's stopping you and that's usually you think it's too complicated or that you need to do too many things. Well, just saying it's not true and that's why I want to record this video as well because I notice a lot of people want to go out, they want to make a change, they want to do something different but they don't know how to or they think it's too complex, okay? So let's go into a few things that you should be thinking about when you change the country and things that will make your life a little bit easier. So the first thing that you need to do is kind of um, put it into two halves. One is before you move and the other is after you move, okay? And I would say that the major part of the work comes in actually before you move to the country. Now, the first thing that's really important, obviously, you have to decide which country you want to live in, right? There's all kinds of factors involved to this, like you do your own research, okay? But make sure you talk to people before that, check out some articles, whatever. It's good if you visited that country before really make sure that you will like the place you go to don't just randomly go somewhere right so after you kind of decide the next big thing is you need to save up some cash right i'm not sure like how you know how big you live or whatever but a really good estimate is like two to three thousand k whether it's euros pounds dollars whatever that amount of money will last you for about two to three months in almost any country in the world if you know how to use your money so that's a really good amount to save up um, if you don't have that money, save it up. If you don't know how to get a fucking job, like you can work in McDonald's, whatever, you can make that money in like, at the, at the most in one year or half a year or even less if you work smart. So there's really no excuses. So step number one, decide where you want to go. Step number two, get some money. All right, the next step is you need to solve all your paperwork. If you're in a European Union, if you move to one of the European Union countries, that's gonna be pretty easy, okay? Paperwork is not very complicated for that. However, if you're traveling overseas, if you're going to US and you're from Europe or vice versa, if you're going to Australia, whatever, it's gonna be a little more complicated if you're going to Russia one of my good friends just married so you know they need to fix a lot of different papers for that um, but again it's not as hard as it seems what I would do is I would call the embassy of the country where you plan to go I would talk to them they usually have a lot of resources again just make a little bit of a research talk to some people that you know that have gone there or ask to you know ask some people that know some people that have gone there it's all good you know check out some Facebook groups like do your own research and you'll figure it out and there's not so many things to do usually it's like a work permit or like different you know like certificates of this and that but it takes you like a week you know and like most of your papers can be ready if you put the work in um, the next thing I would try to do is get a room or like a flat or whatever the place is that you will try to stay in the country. I would say get it before. A lot of people just, you know, go to a hostel and they say, oh yeah, I'm gonna find a room later. Well, usually that takes a lot of time and effort and it's pretty stressful, at least if you want to get something decent, you know, if it, you don't want some shithole that costs too much, right? So what I would recommend is go online and do some research. You can either do like um, agency sites, with which usually have a wide uh, variety of choice, but you have to pay agency fees, so it's a bit more expensive. Or you can try to find private individuals. A really good search channel for that is Facebook. And what I would do is I would make sure I get to know the person, I like the place, you know, you kind of have like a contract or something more solid in place, maybe have a Skype with them so you see they're a real person, maybe um, ask one of your friends or, or relatives or whatever that's living in that city to go and check out the place to kind of strike the deal with the person and then you're kind of settled, right? Worst case scenario, you can still crash at the hostel if something goes wrong and find a place later. Much easier is to find a place and then when you arrive, there's already a room waiting for you. 
quick uh, tip that I'll get back to later as well. I would recommend a room in a shared flat because that way you get some flatmates that will share the place with you, which means you'll have some friends in the beginning. They can tell you where to go to do stuff. Like it's just much easier and much more friendly. The next thing is research on the plane tickets. I would say the best time to do it is three to four weeks prior to departure, especially if you're traveling overseas. It might, you know, make sense to do a little bit of more research because then you can get it cheaper, especially if you're traveling with a lot of luggage, whatever, you know, make sure you have your transport down. And then basically uh, you're kind of good to go, right? You arranged all the papers, you arranged your lodgings, you arranged your travel everything in advance right so when you come there it should be a lot less stress than what it is to expect when you move to a new country now one thing that i would start to think uh, in front of the move itself is uh, how you will make money do you want to get a job there are you working as a freelancer do you have a job with some other company in some different country and you have a regular paycheck i don't know your situation but again it's good if you think about it in advance if you plan to get a job there again send out some emails uh, ask some people like ask around like you can actually arrange to have a job waiting for you when you come when i moved to uk that's what i did i even got like some financial help from slovenian and european union and whatever you know they paid me money to move so if you make a little bit of research you can do it and again it's a lot less stress when you change the place you know that you have like your accommodation your job everything is waiting for you a lot easier again don't stress if you can't do that as long as you have enough money saved up if you have a place that's nice you can just come there and find a job there um, it's again it's a bit more stressful but you can always 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 find a job and nobody will convince me you can't uh, worst case scenario like you know you find a restaurant or something like this to work at a store like it's fine you know a lot of people do it and definitely you can find it uh, the light is going down a bit so I hope it, it lasts till the end of the video and then uh, the next step which is a bit easier I would say is after you move okay so you move places you went to a different country you have your room there your job and everything else you can kind of start living life but then you realize you know you need a social circle as well you need some friends maybe you need a partner you need you know you need things to do outside of your job you know like people were social beings so you need some company around you how do you go about that again if you're in a shared flat that will help a lot because you will have cool flatmates you know presumably i hope so uh, that will show you around that will introduce you to their friends facebook groups help a lot if you're a i don't know ballet dancer check for ballet dancers milano i don't know wherever it is that you want to move check out like your own for example there's a group slovenians in london slovenci london uh, there's a lot of different facebook groups that can help you a lot there's the site called meetup.com which has a ton of events in all kinds of cities around the world so definitely a super easy way as well to meet new people and then you know if you into cold approach pickup that's a great way to meet a potential partner as well in addition you could also like uh, learn the local language which i highly recommend like people will hold you in much greater regard if you do that and your life will be much easier because not everybody will speak english obviously um or maybe join like a gym class a yoga class or something all these hobbies all these activities are really good because you will you know be more social as well as learning or doing something that you like anyway next step is explore you know like congratulations you're in a new place like explore go see things go do things go meet new people like you did what you were so afraid of or what seemed like an you know a big obstacle like you're in a new place and there's so many new things to discover the the customs the culture the the buildings hiking trails ski slopes whatever right there's limitless opportunities so definitely do that and then uh, after you know as long as you enjoy in, in the process and all of that I would say also keep in touch with your friends and family you know you have social media so don't forget about that it's really easy to lose track when you move places you meet all these cool people you do so many things make sure to not lose you know touch with your closest friends and relatives obviously you won't be able to keep in touch with everybody which is sad but it happens um, I would say keep your family and closest friends you know like communicate with them once a week once every two weeks Skype send them a voice message 
on WhatsApp or whatever. Try to visit them every few months or, or whatever is, you know, appropriate for you. But I would say, like, don't forget where you came from, you know, like, keep those relations alive and you will see. And the, the funny thing or a bonus thing is once you learn how to do it in one place, you can repeat the process, right? It's really like once you get this skill down, it's actually really easy to, you know, move a country. And, and I think I really like it. I'm going to do it a lot in, in the future years. So definitely try that. All right. Um, I hope this, these tips were useful for you. I hope you will definitely decide to change the country if that is what you've been thinking about for some time. Let me know how you like this video. Drop some comments, drop some likes. Um, I definitely appreciate and read every one of them. Um, yeah, that's that. Enjoy the video. Uh, enjoy life and definitely change the country. Peace out.